Welcome, ladies and gents, to another video, which I honestly didn't have to make, but I'm going to anyway. I posted a video introducing Grove Clan from my Warrior Cats fan series that still needs made. I'll come up with something eventually. And today, I'll be covering the next clan on the list, Weld Clan. No, this is not a group of cats that like metalworking. Weld refers to a forest or upland wooded area that is wild or uncultivated, according to Merriam-Webster. Weld Clan was born when a few cats from the Grove Clan decided briars, brambles, and the like. They share their western border with Grove Clan, which I went over in their video, and the southern border with Pond Clan. There aren't any landmarks out there, and the border tends to dance around near where the woods thicken. In the past, Wild Clan had wanted the lighter forest on that side, but backed off quite a bit to give Pond Clan access to the Dippin' Hollow, where gatherings are held. Off the map, the North River bends around the forest, serving as the Bobcats on occasion, and even a few weasels. Their camp is at the bottom of a small rib, and with all the thickets and brambles they have to work with, their camp walls are very spiky. The cats of Weld Clan vary a bit in height. Most of them are taller or average height, but poor Batwing and Tiny Cloud are just little. They have slightly narrower eyes and small paws and ears. This helps minimize them being damaged by all the undergrowth they have to navigate through. The leader of this clan is Lizard Star. He's the eldest of the and has been in the position for quite a long time. He's seen a lot of his time, and has mellowed in his age. He's considered retirement, but doesn't think he could stand spending his days on the sideline. Batwing is the deputy. Despite his small size, he's a very skilled fighter. He's kind and level-headed. When he was named deputy, the clan all agreed it was a very good choice. It did take some time for the leaders to get to orders. The medicine cat is Ivy Queen. She's a very strict and fit prick. She takes her job very, very seriously and hates wasting time. Tiny Cloud is a good warrior. His white coat comes in handy in Leaf Bear, as he's already a skilled hunter, but once the forest is blanketed in snow, he can all but disappear. He can get a little cagey in tense situations, especially if someone insults his size. Ollie Claw is a skilled fighter and an all-around good cat. Though he's fiercely loyal to his clan and his kin and can get a little carried away, he's a very good dad. Moth Spots is the Blue Star's younger cousin. Her mother and his father were litter mate. She's also Tiny Cloud's mate. She's gentle and calm, but takes no black. Black Talon is Batwing's half-brother. They share a mom. They acknowledge each other as siblings, but aren't super close. Black Talon is a good cat and a respectable warrior, but he keeps to himself and often disappears to hunt on his own when he needs to think or wants space. Smoke Pelt is a good hunter, but tends to be a bit antsy. She didn't do well in her first interclan conflict. You would think that as a queen she'd be able to relax, but it seems to have made her even more nervous. Weld Clan's two apprentices are Moth Spots and Tiny Cloud's kids, Sparrowpaw and Malapaw. Malapaw takes after her mother and is Ivy Leaf's apprentice. Sparrowpaw is a bit more temperamental and is Holly Claw's apprentice. Sparrowpaw is protective of his sister and in their free time he teaches her self-defense tech, even though Ivy Leaf is already teaching her how to fight on top of it. The only elder in this clan is Ant Tail, who's Ivy Leaf's father. He used to be an insanely strong and respected warrior. He's seen it all and is the oldest cat currently living in out of all of the clans. Now that he's an elder, he likes to bother his daughter by teasing her and telling stories to the clans. There are three kits in this clan Aspen Kit, Flint Kit, and Soap Kit. They're Smoke Pelt and Polyclaw's kits. At five moons old, they're impatient to start their apprenticeship. Aspen Kit is high energy and feisty. Flint Kit has a bit of a bad attitude and finds his mother's hunger infuriating. And Soot Kit is a shy little baby who really just wishes his litter mates would just get along. Two for two. Now that I'm back at it, I want to get this introduction videos out of the way and get back to the actual animation. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately and I'm more confident about what I'm doing for the channel. Hopefully I'll be able to get back into gaming videos again soon. I don't think I'm going to do the games I used to play anymore. They just aren't working for me. I want to try and keep doing Minecraft though. I just need to figure out what I want to do with it. That's it for now though. 